Seven. What's so special about seven? There are seven days of the week, seven wonders of the world, seven continents, seven seas, and now a fully transferable seven-year warranty on... ever needed any proof that this whole Beatles, Paul, John, George and Ringo, and it doesn't matter which and whatever's going on, but it's a big mind trip, isn't it now? Because look at the, the Zions here. Clearly the Zion idea. And the long-legged, long John Baldry, Vivian Stan shall. He stands tall. And... This is an oldies thing they put out. And certainly none of the Beatles actually are as tall as what Vivian Stan Tall is uh, presented as. So in a way, you can't always be Paul, you would imagine. But certainly those pictures that they have of the moustache show that he could have been a face idea for Paul. And certainly there is the old idea of the tall Paul in a few... Um, images and uh, maybe that video for strawberry fields i'm thinking then one may well ask did uh vivian stancil play paul or did paul play vivian stancil certainly you can see the paul look here behind the beard it'd be easier to make a short guy taller for the camera than a tall guy short you would think anyway I just sort of throw that in as a bit of a laugh. I mean, what are you ever looking at here? But what's interesting in this one is the ring. The dreaded beetle ring turns up. <laughs> the seven on it. There you go, you see, there's just so many strange things here. You'll never get to the bottom of it, but it's a good laugh to look at all the things that, and people will apply this too heavy, as I said, you know. This will be um, going back to Egypt, you know. Well, we know Egypt didn't exist the way they're saying anyway. All spook craft out of London, that's all I can see with it all. Well, of uh, many images that you'll see to do with Paul McCartney, I think the Stanley Ann Dunham Paul McCartney is a corker. This one here too, definitely, is a one hell strange image. It's just, they look so the same, you must admit. But the one stranger even thing is that this mow's incomplete, sort of. It's a little bit hairier over this side and... So that's the one thing that's, it's like, who would have a mo like this? What's going on here? It is bizarre. The whole thing is just absolutely, it's been created to be as bizarre as you could ever imagine. you just got to look at that oldies thing I showed you and then look at this photo and then just think of Stanley and Dunham. Number 28. Now here's an interesting one. This is supposed to be Paul McCartney with Willie Campbell. This really looks to me like it could be a wax dummy. Wax dummy of Paul at Madame Trousseau's uh, gallery. And somebody's calling it this. Very strange to me. Yes, Paul and Stanley. Paul Stanley, of course. From Peter, Paul and Mary, or from Kiss, take your pick. The whole Stanley idea is another one. People have been sending me a few links on, and I'll be looking at Stanley. This is Morgan Stanley at the Greater Ormond Street Hospital. 
and Dr. Livingston and Mr. Stanley, of course. And the Livingston name, very important name in New York history too, I might add. And that one links to pirates. Everything's Jolly Roger as far as I can see. And here's a very blurry image of the same fireman just beforehand. Gee, that looks like a sort of pool look, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this guy in the back here looking up. And is that Michelle Obama? Yes, well, we've got a name for number 28, Mike Kehoe. And it's got the same name as a Republican member for Missouri. As he rushed up the uh, tower. Have a look at some images for Mike. Well, here's Mike. And uh, here's Mike looking a bit more like Paul. Yeah, he looks a bit too young, this one. Depends on where that photo was taken. It's not Mike there, is it? Oh, it is too. He's lost his hair. It's Mike, all right. Well, here's another Mike Cahoe. Is that the same Mike Cahoe? Unchangeable Mike Cahoe by the look of it. It's a Republican guy by the look of it. Is this Mike Cahoe? Is it another Mike Cahoe, maybe? <laughs> Will a real Mike Cahoe please stand up? Well, this one's an interesting one. It looks a bit like Mike Cahoe, but this one's John Crowley. With the 15 Devil's Card. Someone's got a the cab was racing through the night And this is another picture that's quite interesting indeed. It's like Howard Hughes or somebody here. And look, look at that head. It just doesn't look right anyway, does it? But certainly there is a, a strange uh, look of these two. I guess it's supposed to be Paul here. Paul's such a changeling, but it's the kid. To James. I thought this video had something here with James in it. Might be up here. Yeah, look. That is certainly a bit Vivian, isn't it? With the red hair. Well, we think of Harry and uh, Elton, you know. So we've got some other things that we can see around. One big mess, if you ask me. sharing it with you. Now we'll leave the last word to the originator of the whole idea, Sir Paul McCartney. Uh, it's a mystery to me. Da -da -da -da. Uh, it's a mystery to me. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Thank you.
Very short fall indeed. What is ever going on, eh? No wonder look at that laugh, the same as the Butcher Album laugh from Georgie Boy. Georgie Girl, maybe. Let me just start off by saying I think my brother's an idiot. It's true. And he can be a real dick sometimes. Also true. This is a bit scary now, isn't it? The rise of the Pauls. It's the rise of the Pauls. That's right, the brothers are back. We yeah, they say tic tac or any meeny miny mo pick your paw. We'll and meet Peter Michael McCartney, so they say. But he never looks anything like Paul, except for the risen eyebrow. See, I had no idea that Mike McGear was Peter Michael McCartney. I knew Mike McGear was Mike McCartney. I didn't know he was Peter, and I didn't know he was in the scaffold. We had that song in Australia, Lily the Pink, it was quite a big hit. Uh, we thought Mike McGear just came out with his albums and we knew his brother was all involved, etc., and singing along with him. We knew all that part, but uh, this guy was around a bit longer. It's quite psychedelic for uh, the silly song it is. It's a strange brew here. Some very interesting uh, letters in what looks like some sort of shrubbery gaps or something. I don't know. It's hard to say what this is in the background, but Jane or Sane. Something over here too, looks like the big G. Hard to tell. Very odd picture indeed. Well, yes, back to the eights, eh? The Liverpool eight, circumcision gang. One fat lady. Fat ladies and Liverpool eights. And 1962, 62 for an 8 as well. It seems like Mike was the Mike McFab. And McFab is a, an idea of uh, a fake one. Something's real and then the Mac variety is the uh, imitation. So he's imitation fab. And on Parlophone. 1962.